one more thing? I gave this ring to Matt. Tell him you can keep it as a souvenir. It's Felicia. Not Chloe. Is, oh, he is? Listen, stop him right away. Um, tell him I need to see him. Yes, it's it's very urgent. Thank you. Was perfect. Yes, it took a lot to get to this point, but it was worth it. Come work. on, you knew it was gonna work out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm so happy to this. Can I speak to Dr. Jamie Flynn, please? Uh, never mind. Thank you. He's here. Dennis! Molly, we need to talk. The baby that you and Molly are adopting is mine. No, it can't be. Jamie, it's true. Olivia, Marley is in Arizona right now making all the arrangements with the birth mother. I am the birth mother. She went to Arizona because I'm giving birth in a hospital there, and she's getting everything ready for us. No, I don't believe this. It's true, Jamie. She got us an apartment Marley there. is going to be with you when you give birth to this baby? Yes. We didn't want anyone to make a direct connection. But not even me? Marley was not even known. Marley hasn't done anything. She lied to me, Olivia. She didn't ask for any of it. She didn't come to me. I went to her and offered her the baby. You offered her the baby. Hey, please don't be angry with Marley. She's been so kind to me. If you need me, you just need to take this back a few steps. A few months ago, Sam began insisting that he was going to adopt the baby. 
Christmas match, don't you think? Considering he thought it was his baby. He wanted my baby, but he didn't want me. That hurt. Yeah, I'll bet, especially since it wasn't his baby to begin with. Can you just listen for a minute? I didn't think that I could be any kind of a mother that a child would be proud of. I was ashamed of all the lies I had told, and I was confused. And I decided that maybe it was best if I just didn't have the baby. I don't see any other way out. You're going to have an abortion. That was what I was thinking. I don't know where that stopped me. And it was Marley who changed my mind. She began talking about the baby. About what a gift it was to be able to bring life into the world. And how ironic it was that someone who wanted to do that desperately... She made me understand that I was lucky and that I had other options. And for the first time, I thought maybe, just maybe something good could come out of all of this. Like what? Like I could live with giving up my baby if I knew who he would be with. Riley. Of course, she wouldn't even consider it. Why? Because of Sam? No, Jamie, because of you. And because of Sam and Amanda. Yeah, but she changed her mind, obviously. And it's because I begged her to. I told her that the baby belonged with her. And I told her that if she didn't adopt the baby, then I was going to give him to someone else for adoption anyway. So she reconsidered. And right away, she consulted a lawyer first. A lawyer? Byron Pierce. She was very responsible. Yeah, everything by the book, huh? Yes. She went over the entire situation with him because she didn't want to cross any lines. Cross any lines? She was deceiving me, Olivia. She she wanted to tell you she did, but I wouldn't let her. Even though I was going to be adopting the baby, too? I told her that if she told you the truth, she couldn't have the baby. And she went along with it? She wants to be a mother. And she believed at first that she was going to be a single mother. So she kept your secret? Only for the baby's sake. For herself. Well, this one's dying, so let's go. Oh, indeed. I just got home a minute ago. How did you know I was here? Uh, your mother told me when the plane got in, so I figured I'd take a chance and. Well, I don't know if they knew I'm in Arizona, but they thought I was going to be here for days. Um, I was going to get some tea out of her. Well, she wanted me to get some tea. I'm being serious. The way her mom's been acting for a couple of years. And I just, I just think it's really weird. I mean, there are lives where there's so much to these lives. You know, first it started with Jane and then the gathering, you know, with the babies. Yeah, it's amazing for two people who, who really have so little in common. Yeah. And um, I just want to let you know that you got me an option to come down here. You may need some time off, so you feel free to take it. Yes. But I think you can really handle the lot yourself. It's, it hasn't been very long since you searched me. What's going on? Well, there's more to my life right now than that. <sighs> Dennis, did you meet someone while I was gone? Yeah, in a way, I guess I did. took her away. But at least she let me give her something. Oh. Another dime, uh, that, that mercury dime I found the day we met. I heard you were going to get her. Came down to her little feet and I put it around. <laughs> he doesn't know she still has that. <laughs> it would mean that there was some part of us that was still connected to him. Maybe you, um, maybe you brought her good luck. Probably. What's going on? Franco said it was an emergency. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. No, it's just that I didn't know what to do with all of this. 
These are my things. Yeah. Lorna dumped them off at her lower there. I think she was trying to make a point. I'm sorry she came by no, and honey, get these things out of It's all right. Room. All right, we don't, we don't have to rush. What'd you say to you? Look, Anna, here. She did put this in my hand. She said she wanted you to have it. Yeah, it's hers. It is. She said she had it forever. First eight with Madison president? It's very good. Not to knock you don't know. That's good. I have no idea about this, I swear, oh, Dean. Yeah? Matt and I were searching months to find who's. You're lying, lying Lorna. You are lying. You sold us out, Lorna. You sold us out. I swear to you. I had no idea that Rick was our silent partner. Well, they're not such a silent partner, are they? They're the ones who are distributing Jenna's X rated tape. I don't think she's gonna like that. All of the secrecy was only to protect the baby. It made sense at the time. It was a new I tell Sam and Amanda. It wasn't just you. You see how involved this whole thing Look, is? Look, you'd already been lying to Sam for months, so what was one more lie, right? I know I was wrong. Olivia, you had already torn my sister's life apart, so why not mine? Jamie, I am sorry. I was so overwhelmed I couldn't think of anything or anyone besides myself. That's no excuse. What about Marley? What do you mean? She knew the pain that Sam and Amanda were going through. She watched them suffer. I guess she was just thinking about herself, too. Oh, Marley only thought about what was best for the baby. Is that why she took me away from his father? I indicated to Marley from the very beginning that I was never going to allow Sam to adopt the baby. That wasn't even in the picture. I was trying to avoid a fight. I get this straight. Two months ago, you go to Marley, you ask her if she wants to adopt you. She said yes, even though she believed the baby was my brother and mine's. Even though she knew it meant lying to me for the rest of our lives. Yes. How can you just, just sort of make something? I don't know, Marley. Call it a rediscovery. Who is it? It's Olivia Matthews. Who is she? 
Yeah. You can't be serious. Molly, she's carrying my child. Well, I know. But so I got to have some kind of a relationship well, with her. What kind of a relationship are you Well, thinking? I don't know, Molly, but I'm not just going to bail out on my kid right now. What does that mean? It means that it's time for me to grow up, to take responsibility for my life. Molly, I've been walking around in a daze, and I feel like I just woke up. I know, but that's because of, of everything you've been through. Dennis. I mean, I think you must still be reeling from the whole situation. Molly, that's part of it. Okay, the accident and the baby. It's given me a whole new perspective on my life, and for that I am grateful. But the bottom line is, Molly, I've been drifting for years. So, that's why you want to take some time off. You want to spend some time with Olivia. Yeah, that's part of it. What happened to your married friend? I don't know, Molly. I need to take this step by step. But she is just a child herself, Dennis. I mean, it's an impossible situation. Molly, I thought you'd be happy for me. I thought you'd be proud. I'm trying to do the right thing well, I here. I love her because you don't understand everything. Yes. What do I understand? Me that baby. I'm going to call me as soon as you get home, okay? Telling me a big stinking lie about sunburn. I am huh? telling you the truth, Dean. Yeah. And you're trying to tell me that you never once laid eyes on this guy, Madison? Yes, I never did. Lorna, Lorna, I, I know you, and I know you can do a lot better than that. Look, Dean, I swear to you, this is as much news to me as it is to you. Rick pulled the wool over all of our eyes, I swear. She wrapped this ring as a Christmas present. And she held on to it a long time later before she gave it to me. It's a very important woman. She didn't want me to have a kid. She had for a kid. Yeah, we had a little celebration for her. It looks to me as if it might be near you. Lois, dear. And did you ever meet any of her family when you lived together? No. No one ever called. And she never talked about any of this? She said everything was fine at home, but I think there were problems. Felicia, it's like pulling teeth trying to get anything personal out of Lorna. Why do you say that there were problems? Well, she left home when she was 13. She always looked older and was able to manage on her own. Where is she from? 
some little town outside Chicago. No, Felicia, Lorna is a lot more than just her act. I mean, her biggest problem is showing to people how vulnerable she is. And also, she's a long way to Because she, she wants people to keep their distance, not to ask questions. But there's another side of her. I, I found her knitting a sweater on Christmas Day all alone for me. Probably did it with her finger. She said her grandmother taught her. Hard to imagine your music, Sam. Not for me. I just wish I knew what happened to her back then that's made her so vindictive. Knowing what I know of you as Dennis's should make things easier for you and Molly. Why? He's my best friend, Olivia. But nobody has to know. Now you're trying to threaten me into this conspiracy. Forget it. Dennis doesn't know that it's my baby. She's adopting, not yet, anyway. So you and Marley planned to do this. Marley had nothing to do with it. It was all me. Everything is my fault. All the lies, all the deception, and all the pain. And when I realized what a terrible mess I made of everything, and I saw Dennis lying in the hospital, I tried to fix it. Good you finally told the truth. Did you realize what you've done? Yes. You can see how hard this is for you. Do you know? I know that you are angry, but please don't take it out on Marley. I still just can't understand why Marley would go along with all of this. Can't she? No. Not with all our problems. She wants a baby more than anything in the entire world. This was going to be a new beginning for her. That's the truth, isn't it? Yes. And I still believe that she is the best mother for my child. What are you going to do? Jamie. Jamie, wait. Let me get this straight. You were going to adopt Olivia's baby. I don't get it, Marley. Then why did you go to Arizona? Because that's where Olivia was going to have the baby. And then you were going to bring the baby back here? Yes. My child? Yes. Marley, how can you do that? Because she offered me the baby. Dennis, I didn't know it was yours. Oh God, no wonder you didn't want me to get but involved with Olivia. you listening to me. And now I see why you're so supportive of this whole adoption she idea. She wanted me to have the baby. She swore me to secrecy. Dennis, I didn't know you were the father. Let me ask you something. How much does Jamie know about this? No one was supposed to know Oh, my God, I don't believe it. Once again, Jamie's left in the dark, I'm going Marley. To tell him as when, soon as when, the when are you going to tell him? As soon as I can. Do you think, let me ask you something. Marley, do you think that this is going to get any easier? It's Olivia's baby. I was trying to do what she wanted. Well, she's not the only one involved with this. The baby has rights, and one of those rights is to know who his father is. I know that. Dennis, how much do you know about raising a child? How much do I know? I know as much as anybody else does until they have a child. You'll give it all up, then. You'll give it all up. The women and the racing and the weekends. What, do you think that that is beyond me? I don't know. I think... real family. You mean you and Jamie? We have wanted a baby for so long, Dennis. No, this baby is not a pawn for your personal happiness. And you think that's the way I see it? Yes, I do. Olivia wanted this child to be with a family who could love it and nurture it and provide it with a stable home. We can do that. Can you do that? Dennis, I think that is something you should take some time to think about. Let me tell you something, Molly. I don't need time. And I don't care what your plans are. I am not giving up my right to this child. Sam, could you do this to me? Do this to you? This is my child. I know you lost my name, Felicia. Did you know that? Did you? I talked her out of it. It still doesn't change the way that I feel. I just don't understand. I mean... 
just felt like we've got gloves and handguns. We're like, we don't even know who you are. I hate you, Louise. You know this child the way I do. How do you know that? Bailey, you, you have never, ever said anything about wanting a baby. Well, Molly, I don't have much of a choice now. I do have a baby, okay? I'm going to deal with that. How did it make you happy? Just to watch me raise the baby. Once upon a time, Molly. But not now. Why? Why? Well, what's changed? Me! I've changed, Molly. And you changed me. What did I do to change you? You made me realize that I was just scratching the surface of my life. You made me feel things that I hadn't felt in years. I was afraid to feel things that weren't safe. You showed me. You opened up my life. And now there's room for a child. God, you gotta take this baby away from me, aren't you? I've always been a behind the scenes person, so going to Grant's award ceremony tonight was a first. But down. Again. I don't know how hard that can be. Well, it hurts when the people you love aren't what they seem. Those people are more complicated than I think. I wish that's all it was, Cassie. When you lose faith in someone, it's uh, hard to get it back. Yes, it is. How'd you get so smart anyway? The usual way. <laughs> well, let's just say I uh, had my share of disappointments. I wish there was something I could say on it. I've got to take off. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Anytime, Dr. Frank. Dean, we may have been set up, but it certainly wasn't by me. Oh, that's a good one, Molly. That's... Look, I know that... About the video. You know what I know. Rick probably told Jenna that he was Lucas's good old buddy. And and I had no idea about the video until after it was taped. The choreographer came into me looking for a gig. He said that he'd already worked with Jenna. 
And he was the one that told you about the tape? Yes. And that's it. He never mentioned anything else about Sunburst. What about your Sharon? Sharon, what? Yes, your Sharon. And your share of this videotape, this X-rated videotape that's supposedly making a fortune. I don't have any money. And I wasn't involved in any school. What have you done now? Magic wand. Oh, I almost forgot. Your dress for the spring dance. Come to the dry room. That's my stuff. Usually, she wants to know. Surprised. So, what does that mean? That it's not fun for you to be? Seems to be. It's the not last of us. Something like the way that she received the letter. I felt like I was lying. Do you know anything at all about Bonnie? Yes, I guess so. Is that his name? Is that right? Yeah, he's like that. Yeah, no, there's going to be blood. Look at it. So it happens that we need to go through it. We will. Okay, you're done. So what was the tension? We just need to keep it safe. We still love each other. Who knows what we're going to do? If we are going to have such a conversation, come on, stop it. Stop it. No one is going to. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. He's been following me around a bit. Are you sure about that? Yeah, positive. He, um... He's been making it really obvious. He showed up at school today after classes. Okay, he knows your classes? No, and he's flaunting it, and I think he's the one that's responsible for the prank calls and hangups that we've been getting. Well, then we'll just we'll just get a new one listed number. I can do that tomorrow. I don't think it's that easy. I think he's really enjoying this. Um, I'm scared of you. Well, listen to me, Jenny. I have dealt with the Rick Madisons of the world before. And we will get rid of him. But how? It's not against the law to go on a school campus or to make phone calls. I, I can't. I can't help but keep thinking of how much easier my life was when I was at the convent. You know you can't go back. No, I mean, what kind of progress have I made? A porno queen. Oh, no, stop it. You are not. You are a beautiful, talented young woman. And you will put this behind you. Come on. Really? You just have to think positive. Oh, oh, Lord, I'll be fast. Maybe too fast. I'm kind of missed out. Life was so easy and simple. I didn't want more. Or do you? I can't help thinking that maybe he wasn't better off than I was. Oh, don't say it. Then get out of it. I'm really worried about Dean because I don't know what he's going to do about all of this. So, Rick Madison, the sunburst. Boy, that, that's swell. Why doesn't that surprise me, Lorna? Mad. 
Yes, please. Not to believe you would try to do that. Well, when Rick Madison is the tooth fairy, right? I was living with you. Dad, how could I possibly have kept you? Yes, close, but what do I really know about you? You don't talk about your past. You don't talk about your family. Nothing to know. Winners, I have top ten artists and top drop producers. What do I need to be involved with some sleazy sex thing? You certainly can't argue against me. That's right. That's why you switched the tapes to begin with. But I had never seen Rick Madison before that week, Matt. Okay? I admit I ain't no saint, but I am certainly, I do have standards. Look, Chris, do Hey, no one turns me on, Dean. It was a great song performed by a really tight band with a lead singer who could blow the roof off the place. So why did you get involved with Rick Madison? I didn't. I didn't. Guys like Madison make my skin crawl. Now I'll tell you something. I have no idea how or why this situation exists between Rick and Summer's Dorothea. I am determined to get to the bottom of it. You know what, Ann? I'm going to stop this delusion. Don't you feel lucky. Matt, I know I can't get you back. But I know that I can show you that I'm not as bad as you think I am. Give me that much. Well, I don't know about you, man, but I'm starting to believe it. So am I. to get back together and have a family? That's why you opened to me just so that there was a baby that's going to be born in the summer in Arizona. My mother was unmarried and she's going to give birth. That's right. Well, I, I have legal representation and, and the papers have been drawn up. It really is as final as it, it can possibly be at this moment. Well, you can't tell me how to set the time apart. I know this is really what you want. Oh. Miracle. Yeah, but all those months we were trying to keep something, we didn't even consider the option of adopting a baby. And then one day, I believe to have a child of our own as we tore us apart. To give this child what you've been promised is going to make things different. I, I was wrong about that. Yes, I do. I knew things were changing inside of me. And I feel like I'm here. Anything will be changed. It's not much I know. about John. What about him? And what's the truth? John Marley, I didn't have any choice. I promised myself that there would be no more lies. And he started... You didn't let me tell him! I'm sorry, I know I was wrong. And I never expected him to react the way he did. How did he react? I tried to convince him that it was all my idea from the start to the end to keep this adoption a secret. Yeah, he's furious, Marley. Go no, straight, I am. Welcome back, Marley. I don't know what Lorna thinks she can do. This is like, this is like the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. A punk like Madison, owning a piece of my future? A guy that's practically destroyed? Can I not manage to get 
going to get rich off my music right now. How did this happen? So I can still push to do it and be more careful. But the thing is, when we're raising that cash at a time where I was desperate enough not to ask for a team for it, my stupid pride, I was hell bent on making this company work without cutting my family, without my family's money. Look, we're in honesty. We're in trouble. Me to believe anything she says. She's obviously up to something, or she's planning something. She, where she took off, I don't know. Now what? I got a couple plans of my own. Listen, Dean, don't do anything stupid. DNM is you and me, and we're in trouble. This place can't function without you, so you have to start. Well, DNM's just gonna have to deal with whatever goes down. Well, what are you gonna do? Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. But I'll tell you one thing: if Lauren doesn't get to Madison first, I'm done. Yes, hi. Um, I would like to speak with one of your inmates, please. Well, I know it is late, but this is an emergency. Well, then go ask the warden. Tell him I need to speak to Paul 